Hi everybody. All right. Um, this one I want to show you is coming from Reuters. What it actually shows is that p instead of the drachma and other currencies being uh, used in Greece, uh, fearing return of the drachma, basically, some Greeks use the Bitcoin or use Bitcoin to dodge capital controls. Now, I think this is actually going to be good in the long run. Um, I haven't actually kept up with Bitcoin. The last major article I think I've re read about Bitcoin was the supposed CEO of Bitcoin died of an assassination. That's what I remember. Whether real or not, that was the last that I actually remember. Um... But basically, this is what it says. A man demonstrates the use of Bitcoin ATM at a bookstore in... I'm going to mess this up, I apologize. Akarni, North Athens, Greece, June 30, 2015. There's at least one legal way you can get euros out of Greece these days. To guard against the prospect that they might be devalued into drachmas, convert them into Bitcoin. Although absolute figures are hard to come by, Greek interest has surged online uh, with cryptocurrencies, which is one of the reach of monetary authorities and can be transferred at a touch of a smartphone screen or ATM or whatever you're using at the point. New customers are depositing at least 50 euros with BTC Greece, the only Greece-based Bitcoin exchange, open only to Greeks, rose about 400% between May and June, according to its founder, Thanos uh, Marnos, uh, who put the number of at a few thousand. The average deposit quadrupled to around 700 euros. Yep. Although absolute figures are hard to come by, Greek interest has surged. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, new customers depositing at least 50 euros with BTC. Oh, my bad. Sorry about that, folks. It glitched on me and I went back. Using Bitcoin could allow Greeks to do one of the... <sighs> Look at this. Look at how they're messing this up. Look at this. Using Bitcoin could allow the Greeks to do one of the things that capital controls were put in place this week to prevent. Transfer money out of the bank accounts and if they wish, out of the country. When people are trying to move money out of the country and the state is stopping that from taking place, Bitcoin is the only way to move any value, said Adam uh, Vizari, board member of UK Digital Currency Association. There aren't any other options unless you buy diamonds, and that's very difficult to move. But Marno, and then you have to worry about um, exchange rates and everything else, and that, that's never a good thing. Um, but Marno said that Bitcoin buyers' main aim was to shield their money against the prospect that Greece might leave the Eurozone and convert all their deposits into Greek banks into a greatly devalued national currency. If voters reject the demand of international creditors in a referendum on Sunday, this becomes much more likely. Uh, folks, I'm not going to read all this to you. I'm trying not to read anything, but this is actually a very powerful piece, so I am going word for word on this one. I tried to jump around a little bit. But this is actually very volatile, very big. So I'm going to read probably about two or three more little bits. Um, basically, this peaked at... All right, what, what was this? Um, basically, the idea of digital currency invented six years ago floats freely and is not backed up by government or central bank, and it's highly followable. It peaked over $1,200 in late 2013 before it crashed almost 70% in less than a month after a hacking attack on Tokyo-based Bitcoin exchange Mt. Gox in 2013. This week, as, Go as Greece defaulted on a debt to the IMF, the price jumped three and a half 
month high at 268 BTC equals BTSP. I guess that's their stock exchange too. On Bitcoin exchange, yep, okay. Up more than 20% six, since the start of June, while the number of daily transactions reached record of 150,915. So people are still experimenting with this. But if you ask me, this is actually a great way to institute a global currency. It really is. I mean, if this is your only solution and your kids are going hungry, yes, move your money. Put it in Bitcoin. Put it somewhere else. But if here, here, here's my situation. If you're going to move your money, you better damn well move your family as well. Because... Once the, once the value of the currency goes down, the value of your life goes down as well. And I don't care how you look at that statement, it is absolutely true. If your currency goes in the toilet, the life of every member of your family member just went into the toilet for any reason under the sun. And it's time to get them out if you're going to move your money. Honest to God. I don't care if you're talking about Nazi Germany, if you're talking about Russia. If you're going to move your currency out of the country if you're going to move it into a digital currency you're almost as good to move your whole family out of the country if that is possible because seriously folks if it came down to that think about it your currency the thing that holds your life stable drops that means your whole life and everything you know is about to hit the fan and the floor as well. So that means every one of your family's lives basically decreases by that value. So it's time that people start realizing this and they're going to say if you're going to do all this moving around, you know, maybe it's also time to move the family, if just temporarily.